Welcome to Sushi Go Party, a board game that is now available for checkout at the Five Points West Library. In this game, you are dining a la carte at a deluxe sushi feast. Before you begin, you must create your own menu from a wide variety of delectable options. Then try to score the most points over three rounds by grabbing the best combination of cards before they whiz by. So remember, don't be intimidated. There are a lot of contents, but you don't use all of them all of the time. I will show you how it works. Let's begin by pulling out the contents and setting up the game board. You'll have little colored pawns to move around the board, of course. Then you will set up your menu. What's fun about Sushi Go is that every game can have a different set of food. We have one roll, two specials, three appetizers, and one dessert each round. Place the menu tiles on the board and add all the cards to create a deck. When you get to choosing a dessert, remember, those are unique. Each round has a different number of desserts and the board tells you how many to put in the deck for each round. Put the characters at the zero on the board, put all your cards together, and you're ready to shuffle and get started. Let's talk about the game board. For each card, short instructions are listed on the menu tiles that you place on the game board. For example, if you play a green tofu card, it's worth two points. If you play two green tofu cards, it's worth six points. If the instructions on the menu tiles aren't clear, pull out your rule book. There are directions for each card in the book so you can always refresh your memory. Let's play. For a three-person game, you deal 10 cards each. Look at your cards and consult the rule book if you have any questions about how to use any of your cards. Select the first one you want to play and place it face down on the table. Once everyone is ready, flip at the same time. Pass your hand to the person on your right and accept the hand from the person on your left. Play like this until all cards are played. Now you've finished your first round. Count your points based on the instructions on the cards and move your piece around the game board that number of points. Another note about desserts. Desserts are unique again because you don't get rid of them and add them back to the deck each round. You keep them and only score them at the end of round three. So for example, I played two green tea ice creams in round one, then two in round three. Since that is four total, I get 12 points for having completed that objective. All that's left to do is play the next two rounds the same way. Pull all the cards, shuffle them, add the correct number of desserts for the second round, and deal 10 cards again. Same for the third. Then add your points to see who won the game. Have fun!